Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Today we are going to be checking out the Concession Golf Club by Figure 8 52. This course is actually a collaboration between two golf Hall of Famers and in part recognises a significant moment in Ryder Cup history. So let's check out the course settings. As always, everything is at default. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is fast. Let's check out the tee options. We do have four tee options and we are going to be playing from the black tees, which are playing 7,373 yards. And as always, pin set number one. The course will be hosting this week's PJ Tour event, which is the World Golf Championships. But the concessional golf club was designed by Jack Nicholas and Tony Jacklin. The pair shared a memorable moment of Ryder Cup history when Jack conceded the final putt in the 1969 Ryder Cup to Tony, which resulted in the first tie in the competition's history, and hence planted the seed for this course to be designed. But beautiful opening tee shot. I think we are going to kick over to the right hand side of this fairway. But this is a course, well, bar the history I've just mentioned, don't know a lot the about fairway, it. So I'm not all wrong. But let's see if we can get this Sam Wedge just landing right at the pin. And hopefully sets up a birdie opportunity. Great strike. Pure laser beam. Is it going to spin a bit? Get a tiny bit of backspin. Checks up fairly quickly on the firm fast conditions and we are going to have a 13 foot putt green speeds are 175 this is going to break very gently the last couple of feet did turn beautifully from right to left right into the heart of the cup and we do start off with a birdie hole number two par four beautiful bunker work here check this out wow this is going to be a slight dog leg right. But this course looks absolutely amazing. Even though we're only on the second hole, I can tell this is going to be a great course. We're just going to try and fade this round the bunker, hopefully. Keep it in play. Oh, there's a huge fast. We have pushed it slightly right, which may help us out. And I think we're going to end up over on the left-hand side of the fairway. But yeah, decades after that moment in the Ryder Cup, the two legends paired up to design and create the concession golf club. It is located in Lakewood Ranch. So seven iron, full backspin here. Hopefully the wind's going to turn us to the left. Great strike, swinging well so far. Come on wind. Wind's not turning me as much as I would have liked, but we should kick up the slope here with the firm conditions. And we are going to be zeroed into that second flag stick. Four foot putt for back to back birdies here. Certainly missable. Just going to play this with pace. Horrible putt line. I've missed putts. I have missed putts with putt lines like that on many occasions. But we do pick up the birdie. Now, this course was designed to be different. It is a championship privately owned golf facility with no houses lying in the course. First of the par fives here. Oh, there's a huge fast. I think we've got enough fairway to work with here, though. Oh, that could well be in the heavy rougher bunker. And that is a terrible tee shot there. Huge wide fairway to work with there. And we have found the heavy rough. Horrible slope at our feet. Just going to try and hack this out here and get it as far down the fairway as possible. It's a slow this time. That well could be kicking into the left-hand side bunker here. It does. We are making a royal mess at this par 5. At least we can hopefully get this one close. 6 iron. Just going to loft it up a touch due to the firm greens. That's a far better strike. Is it going to hold the green? I actually don't think it is. May run out into the fringe. It's done exactly that. Actually trickled into the, the fairway. So we do have a chip here. Ten yards out. Just going to fully attack this with a 
Sam Wedge. Let's see if we can drop this for the birdie, if not get it close. Beautiful execution. Oh, right into the center of the cup. And somehow we hacked our way right to a birdie there. But the goal with this course was to create a course where tournament conditions were the norm and the natural setting is the star. What more could you want, guys? Two golfing legends creating a course that we can play on a computer game. In between clubs here. Just going to try and get the partial with the five wood. Full loft and backspin. Try to land it short. The green, but not with a fast. Could well be bunkered. Swing line over the past two or three rounds has really improved. Well, missed the green there on that one. Okay, but our swing off. timing so run. far in this round has been questionable. Well, let's see if we can splash this one. And attack the flag. We get the perfect, but the slow part of feet took us more to the left than I like for. But we do have a par putt, and with that we roll, remain at three under par. But guys, thank you so, so much for the continued support on the channel. We are going from strength to strength with every video, and I cannot thank you all enough. If you've not yet done so, follow me on social media, which um, is on Twitter, and it's at... 1981 early. There's a fast there again. Looks like this one Swing line may just right. help us out here with a slight push right. Are we going to hold the fairway? This ball's trying its best to get off and into the heavy rough, but we do just cling to the left hand side. This is a tough approach shot. Seven mile per hour wind will help us out with the four iron, but just fully applied backspin here. There's another red fast, and with that, we're probably going to have another missed green in regulation. No, it does hold on to the green and it's going to be a tricky, tricky putt. Shot worked out just fine. So 43 feet, up one that foot, breaking hard from left high. to right. Really need to fix this swing timing. It's absolutely criminal swinging as straight as I am just now. And the swing timing being so far off, Let's certainly not complementing there. each other. Good lag putt. Okay, we do pick up back-to-back -back pars, and we remain at three under and after a whirlwind start. Right there at three under. But hole number six, made it to the six long par four. three. I think four irons perfect with this. Once again, just going to change the attack angle here. Try and get this four iron sitting down as quickly as possible. Five mile per hour wind. There we go. Should move us to the right. Wind didn't move me as much as I had liked, but yardage is going to be good. Ball is working its way Sweet. to the back of the green. 24 go, foot putt, slightly uphill. This is going to turn from left to right, but this is the first time I've played this course in any golf game. I can't recall this being on the, the Golf Club 2019, if truth be told. Oh, GS Burns past the right hand side. Off the cup. Probably car. played that with a bit too much pace. Nicely played. But we do pick up another par. So three birdies, three pars. Three under for the round. And like John and says, we are currently three points. under. Hole number seven. This looks like a fairly short par five. Yeah, approach shot's going to be across the water, but just applying a touch of draw here just to keep this ball into play. Oh, it's another red fast. I think we're just about going to get away with that. Anyone new to the channel will be thinking I am playing for deliberate fasts. I can assure you I'm not. My swing timing is just bad today so far. On every shot, I do try to execute a perfect. Really in between clubs here. I think we're going to have to go three wood. Fully loft it. And we're going to have to really try and turn this ball from right to left. See if we can get it kicking up from the fairway onto the dance floor. This is going to help us out with yardage. Slight fast. Is it going to kick up? This is a golf shot, by the way. We almost kicked it up onto the dance floor, but it is going to leave us with a chip shot for Eagle from seven yards. Great effort there. Very, very happy with the outcome of that shot. Exhibition golf shot. Let's see if we can drop this in the hole or get it at least close. Go on, turn. Wow. Our chip shots nice have been very, very good so far today. I think that's our second one. 
if it wasn't for our, our short game so far, we certainly wouldn't be five under par. Bring it down to five under. Be delighted to chip that in for the eagle. And we move on to hole on number eight. Ten mile per hour wind in our face. Gonna have to really be aggressive and take this down the tree line. We need to get the perfect here. Wind will hold us up and move us slightly to the left. We do achieve the perfect. And that ball should release as soon as it hits the fairway. I would imagine. It's going to be no more than a wedge, but we are going to have the wind. In our face, 73 yards up two feet. I'm going to have to pitch this, you know. This could go anywhere. Slight downhill slope. Wind in our face. Just going to deal off the pitch shot due to the wind. Oh, it's a slow. It's going to come up short, right, I do feel. Poor execution there. We've got another opportunity from the light rough. Five yards out. Just try to feather this out of here. Get it running up towards the flag. Huge, huge red slope. And with that, we are going to pick up the par. Fairly easy hole there as well. Well, let's say short. But you know yourself, guys. And double figure wins. It certainly changes the complex of every course. So we are going to have to try and fade this and avoid the bunker. Being aggressive as always. There we go. There's a perfect. Have we applied enough fade? We have. I tell you what, I was lucky there because I didn't take the, the tree tops into consideration, but we comfortably carried the top of the trees. So 138 yards, 6 mile per hour wind in my face. This 8 iron should be perfect. Full backspin. Hopefully it sits down quickly after the firm bounce. Get the perfect. Slight pull left, but I think we're just going to hold on to the line. Should turn right here. Go on. Oh, grudgingly made its way up the slope. And we should be looking. I was going to say 8 feet, 7 feet putt. This one's going to turn from left to right. This one's tracking. Nice. We do manage to convert the birdie. And we move to six under par. Absolutely solid front nine, to be honest. Despite having a few poor swing timing shots, we have managed to scramble our way to six under. Hopefully the back nine as enjoyable as the front but this is a fantastic course guys like I say I know very little of this course I did know the history behind the golf course about um, Jack Nicholas um, conceding that putt to Tony Jacklin to tie the Ryder Cup in 1969 and like I said that moment planted the seed for the two of them to collaborate together and create this fantastic golf course it's great to be showcasing a new designer once again on the channel. It's something I try to do on a regular basis. Get up. Beautiful wedge there. Into the 10th green. And we should be walking away with another tap in birdie from four feet. That should turn. We powered that in. And we do move to seven under par. But this course does have a real challenge to it. Looks another treacherous par three. Wind has died down to five mile per hour. So I think we can comfortably play this four hybrid. And allow the wind to take its round. Oh, it's another fast. And with that, it's going to be another green and regulation missed, I do assume. We have missed a lot of greens and regulation so far. Our saving grace has been our, our short game in and around the green so far. Let's see if we can chip this one close. Once again, Sam Wedge is going to fully attack the cup here. We got a slow. And with that slight slow, it did move it right offline. But we do convert the par. So, seven under. Hole number 12. Oh, this drivable. I think with a good favourable bounce out here on the firm uh, fairways. We could just about reach. Oh, not with that fast up. We're going to clatter into this tree. And that's going to leave us a nasty lie in the heavy rough. 
Okay, let's get on so swing timing is all over the shop here. Cut and get on our way. Gonna have to pitch this again. Just gonna play a good bit of backspin here. Let's see if we can get this sitting down very, very quickly. Might be a challenge you'll come out the heavy rough. Oh, early. It's a pool left. It's a fast. Is it going to hold the fairway? <laughs> the fairway, the green. Horrible shot there. And that is why I try and avoid pitch shots where possible, especially on the master settings. But par putt coming up and a big par putt. Go on, turn, 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 turn. I tell you something, we're lucky to get away with that. Gravity really pulled that down on the edge of the cup. And that is a great scramble to remain at eight under par. But that really is one of the easier holes on the course. Should be birdie in that. Number 13, par five. Slight fast. I think that's not going to affect us too much. I can't believe the amount of fast we've actually executed this round so far. And we're somewhere around two, but that is going to leave us with a oh look how tight this pin and green is. So let's see if we can fully loft up this three wood, full backspin, go for the partial. We get the partial, but once again it's another fast. Depending on how this kicks, this could leave us a nasty shot into this tight green. That's probably about twenty yards left of the flag, sixteen yards, pin high. We should have a. A lob wedge splash. Absolutely made for this shot. Let's see if we can put this in. Lighter feet's going to take us to the left. Got to be a delicate little shot here. Hit a fast once again. That actually came out with a little bit more heat than I allowed for. Missable putt for birdie here. Five footer. It's going to fairly swing aggressively from left to right. Is it going to turn? It does turn. And we do manage to walk away with the birdie and move to nine under par. But what a fantastic job this designer has done, guys. This really is a great course. Like I say, if like me, you want to follow the guys on the PGA Tour, it's great that we do have these RCRs designed for that pleasure. So five wood. I think it's still going to be too long here, but we're really in between clubs. We fully lost. That's probably our best strike of the round. Look at that. Absolute laser beam. Yeah, way long. Wind didn't take us as much right as I'd hoped. That was planning to be a little bit shorter than that. So 44 foot putt. Slightly uphill. Turning from right to left. Solid putt light. No, that's going to turn just a little bit too much. Weight was decent. We do walk away with another part. We've really scrambled well today when we've had to. Okay, so that'll keep you at nine under for the round. Hole number 15. Let's see what happens on the 15th hole of this course. Tough par four here, fairly short. We're just gonna have to shape this from left to right just to try and keep it in play. That wind will assist us. Horrible swing light, that is going left. Good off the tee. But we just about cling on to the left hand side of this fairway. It's not stopped yet, there we go. And that is going to leave us a gap wedge. Let me see. Sand wedge is actually perfect. Touch a deal loft. A little bit of top spin. Land it short. Get a firm kick. Up towards the flag stick. Oh, there's another fast. What is going on early? Should kick out firmly. Oh, if it wasn't for the fast, we would have been right at the pin there. Tough putt from 17 feet. It's going to turn hard right at our feet and then hopefully the last couple of feet make its way left back towards the cup. That's tracking well, you know. What a fantastic putt that is. And we do pick up birdie number eight. And with that chip in eagle, we are 10 under teeing off in the 16th hole. But what a fantastic course this is, guys. Just going to apply a good bit of fade here. Probably going to leave myself a pitch, but let's roll with it. Oh, there's a huge slow early. So try to combat back the fast there. We execute a huge slow. May work in our favor, though. May well have just avoided the pitch. We have done 112 yards. Five mile per hour wind. This club should be perfect. Full backspin. 
a lot of loft. Let's throw it up there and hopefully it bites. We get the perfect. This should be right at it. Oh, this good. should be right at it. Come on, sit down. It does sit it's down. Exquisite golf play. shot there. We are left with a three birdie. foot putt. Oh, and we do move yeah. to 11 under par. Like Two holes to play. 17th is going to be the final par five of the course. But this is a fantastic golf course, guys. Very well designed, especially on the PS4. This is a tough drive. We are just going to try and combat that wind with a tiny, tiny bit of drop. We get the perfect. Let's see how good the sculpting is here, because this should just slightly kick left. It does. Really good bit of sculpting on the designer's fairway there. Keeps our ball in play. It's going to be another tough shot here. 236 yards into the wind. Just lofting up this free wood. The, the lie our feet's going to take us hard left here. We do execute a slight fast. On, we get the partial. I think that could actually kick in to the bunker over on the left-hand side here. Is it going to avoid the slope? No. We just avoid the bunker. We're in the light rough. Certainly want to be short of the pin here, but we'll leave us an easier putt. But let's try and get it as close as possible. Oh, that didn't come out well at all. I would have liked that at least another six feet closer. But like I did say, not a lot of movement in this putt. Turn back, turn back. Oh, very good read. And we do move to 12 under par. I'm not changing the controller, guys. As you all know, I hold it at a certain angle. It's great to be swinging as straight as this for the majority of the, the round. It's just my swing time and it's let me down today. Final hole. It is fabulous golf course. Look at this for a finishing hole. Beautiful clubhouse off there in the distance. We managed to find the fairway. I think greens and regulation have been poor. Our fairways and regulation must have been decent. I think we've only missed two fairways. Really in between clubs here. Why? I think this is long, but we're going to have to go at it. Lofting up the six iron. Try to throw it up there. Oh, we've pulled it left. Oh, and a fast. And with that combination, that is going to be long and left. It's another green and regulation missed as well. This one's your third. I will leave you my stats as always at the end of the video, guys. But trying to chip this one close with the Sam Wedge. It's going to fully attack this. Should hopefully turn. So fast. It's going to take it offline and long. But we have left Ooh, a little three foot putt shot. for the par, which we do convert. And I think that is a 60-12 under par, it is, but what a fantastic course that is, guys. Please get out there and play it, especially if, like me, you like to follow along with the PGA Tour events. But that is it for today's round. If you did like the video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.